Alright, hello again, Movie Club. This is my review for Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. And, I'll admit, I had somewhat of an, I had somewhat high expectations heading into this movie. I heard a couple good things about it, and so, you know, I was kind of looking forward to it. But after watching it, I just cannot believe it. This movie was so bad. It sucked. It, it sucked. It was horrible. I mean... Uh, and my biggest problem with this movie, there was no real... There was no real point to this movie. There was no purpose. You know... There was no, like, lesson or anything to be taught from this. Even, like bad movies on here, movies like A Dirty Shame, those had, that even had a lesson where, you know, you could even make the point that the movie is trying to say, you should be more open to sexual experiences, or some bullshit, at least it had a point, this had no point, it had no purpose, it was another one of those films where I felt like I wasted my time watching this movie, I could have done something much more productive in the two hours, I wasted with this movie. I could have. <sighs> and I think one of the reason, another reason I didn't like this movie, the two lead characters are total douchebags. I hated them. They're fucking drug addicts. You know how can I relate to drug addicts whatsoever? I've never even done any drugs. <sighs> And apparently, I looked it. I looked up on Wikipedia. This is like a fantasy comedy or something like that. How the fuck was this a comedy? There was no humor in it. You know. Apparently, there were supposedly funny lines, but it's stuff I've all heard before on like you know, internet message boards. Like, we can't stop here. This is back country. I've heard it so many fucking times. And it's like, all right, yeah, okay, whatever. But there is nothing, nothing whatsoever, nothing. Uh, and you know you can do like you no know, the wild Vegas trip sort of thing and make it funny. The Hangover did that two years ago. This completely failed. And uh, and it's amazing too because there were actually some really good actors in this movie. Johnny Depp, who puts himself so well you know, who puts everything he has into every role he does. I'm sure he did it with this movie, but to me it just didn't work. You know, Benicio Del Toro, uh, who is Dr. Gonzo. You know, you had Tobey Maguire, who was the freaky hitchhiker, who creeped me out with the, like, balding, long blonde hair. You know, Christina Ricci as uh, Lucy, the teenage hitchhiker. Uh, Gary Busey as the police officer. Gary Busey, who is the police officer, who, okay, I couldn't buy Gary Busey because with all the crazy shit he's done in the last few years, every time I see Gary Busey, even if it's in a mu movie, I just see Gary Busey. I don't see any character. It's just, hey, it's Gary Busey doing weird shit. Seen it been done to death in the last few years. All in all, as you can probably guess, I would not recommend this movie, not to anyone, do not watch it, trust me, I am doing you a favor, do not watch this movie, it's horrible, it sucks, please pick better movies, movie club, I beg of you, I just want to be entertained for once, but instead you're just giving me bundle after bundle of shit, whatever, Alex out, peace.